Hello, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can easily get rich and amazing skin tones in your photos or in your studio portraits so when it comes to Photoshop. So simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if I told you are watching and you are not yet subscribed to this channel. So you can see this was the image, this was the photo initially before and the after before is like this and this is the after and this, are going, this is what we are going to be focusing more in this very tutorial. So I'll just come the bug to this and simply delete it. And after deleting it, the very first thing to get amazing skin tones is always making sure that you have created even skin tones. So if I told you to analyze this image, it has various skin tones which are really different. You can see some oranges right here. We have some gray patch on the forehead. We have some magentas right here and some yellows on the nose so just want first of all create even and uniform skin tones and in order to create those uniform skin tones what we have to do we are going to come right here to this layer icon and create a blank new layer and after creating that blank new layer the next thing is going to be coming to the brushes right click and get the brush tool and simply come and set it hardness at zero percent soft round brush is selected the mode is set to normal or pass at hundred percent then also flow at 100%. So after doing that, the next thing is going to be coming right here to the blend mode and change it from normal and change it all the way down to color. So after I have done that, the next thing we're going to do with the brush tool selected, if at all the brush is showing a plus icon, make sure you have pressed the caps lock key on the keyboard and that is going to bring back the default stroke of a brush or shape of the brush. So we're going to zoom into the image by using control plus so just want to sample a random area on the skin tone that we want the rest of the skin to look like so for this i'll just come and sample right here on the hand so hold down the option key or the alternate key on the keyboard and left click on the area you want to sample color from so i'm just going to sample from this area so you can choose any other random color if at all you wish to so i'm just going to hold down the option key and sample that color and as soon as you sample it has to display on these color swatches so after you have ensured or done that the next thing is going to be simply using the brush and simply painting on the skin so don't mind if at all the effect is too much because because you can always come back and correct that so just come and paint on the skin so take your time as you're painting on the skin so if at all you don't have capture one this technique can be very nice and essential to you as a photographer or retoucher. So I'm just going to paint on the skin and come to the neck area. So basically you are painting on each area that has or contains skin tones and you're going to be correcting the effect if at all it is too much later on in this tutorial. So always take your time as you're doing this. So I am basically painting on each and every area that has or contain skin tones in this case so you can see we are done painting so you can increase or decrease on the size of the brush by using the bracket keys on the keyboard so right now this is what we have done and we're also going to paint on this other side of the hand so make sure you don't leave out any area regarding skin tones so I'm just going to paint just like that Reduce on the size and also paint on these fingers in these areas. And by just doing that, you can see right now the skin is looking better and even. So if I told totally you I've painted extras and you want to correct that, simply come and get the eraser tool. The shortcut for the eraser tool is E on the keyboard. So with the eraser tool selected, make sure the mode is set to brush, opacity and flat 100%. And just come right here. And you know what the eraser does it erases away so since we are dealing with an empty layer that has color we can always come and eliminate the effect from those particular areas so I just come and erase the effect from the fingers just like that and come right here and also erase the effect from where the color may have spilled so after I have painted there you can see the skin looks nice and warm but it looks more on the orange side or it looks a little bit oversaturated so what we have to do just come right here to the opacity 
and reduce on the opacity so i feel like at around 50 50 looks great in this case and after doing that we're just going to come and correct the skin tone because the skin is not this too saturated so you're going to come to the adjustments right here and simply come to hue and saturation so when you come to hue and saturation we are simply going to come to master click on master and simply select the reds because the skin is having more of the red color so with the red color selected you are simply going to come to the lightness right here and take down the lightness and it is going to reduce on the overly saturated skin tone so after reducing on the saturated skin tone the next thing we want to do we are simply going to come to the adjustments and create this black and white adjustment layer to add more contrast in the skin tone so we are going to come to the blend mode change it from normal to multiply come the opacity and reduce on the opacity and right now the skin looks better or skin tones look better than they were initially before so what we want to do next we can always come to the selective color adjustment layer and first of all come to the reds and you can always reduce on the yellows in the reds if at all the yellows are too much but for this case we're just going to come to the blacks and take the science up just like that and it's going to reduce on the effect or the overly saturated skin tones and you can as well come and take the yellow slider towards the blues to cool down the image a little bit so this is what we have initially or this is what we have been able to achieve so if i told the skin is too saturated for your liking you can simply double click on the hue and saturation adjustment layer that we created initially come back to the reds and you can take down the lightness the lightness rather even more to your liking so i'm just going to leave it to negative 17 and this is what we have been able to achieve right now so if i told you want to make the image even better you can simply come and whiten the eyes so in order to whiten the eyes of the model to make the image look better create one final hue and saturation adjustment layer take the lightness all the way down to around negative 71 and press com command i or you can use control i on the keyboard to invert the effect come to the brushes right click and get the brush tool make sure the hand is set to zero soft round brush is selected and make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches so to reset if at all you have any other random color press d on the keyboard you can left click on these two tiny swatches and zoom into the image by using ctrl plus or you can use command plus on the keyboard reduce on the size by using the bracket keys on the keyboard make sure white is the foreground color and simply paint in the eyes and in that way you're going to be whitening the eyes and make the image look better so you can see where we started so this is the image right now and it looks better than it was initially before and we have been able to get nice and rich skin tones so this is it for this video and if i told you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if i told you are watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank for watching and, and i'll see you in yet more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating